Itris Elba was the first person that taught me what a drop was because I had no idea. Mm. You know, Itris Elba's a DJ as well. What? So Itris was like, I need you to do a drop for this this project he was doing as far as being a, a DJ. I think it was like a mixtape. Right. And I'm like, I don't what what is it? He like, yeah, just say your name and say the the name of the, you know, and, man, and I'm telling you, that that thing took me took me long as I don't know what to like figure out <laughs> until I finally figured it out. But it was Elba was definitely the first person that taught Trey Chaney what a drop was, a radio drop. Wow. And then I finally got the hang of that. And um another thing, man, you know, I was considered the young, the young buck on set, because I wasn't even 21 yet. You know what I'm saying? Like right. when I was when I first started working on the wild, I wasn't 21. I was just getting ready to turn 21. Like in the middle of the season. So I remember I always used to try to to go out with all of them, but I couldn't get in the club. You know right. what I'm saying? Even though I was on the wire, but I don't think it hit premiered yet. Right. And um, I remember times, man, when they used to roll, I used to be like, man, I feel left out. You know what I'm saying? But but all of those guys, Wood Harris is my brother. Itris Elba is my brother. Michael B. Jordan is my brother. I haven't seen Michael B. Jordan in, in quite a long time. You know what I'm saying? But I know if I see him, it's love. Mm. Um. J.D. Williams, who played Bodie, you know, that's my right-hand man. We on a Putin Bodie tour right now, you know, where we touring different cities, different states, and, and really just bringing that wire energy, mm. letting our fans ask us all types of questions about the show. What was it like working together on the show? What was it like just being around those type of yeah. huge stars on the show? And, um, you know, everybody collectively is just like, one thing about the wire cast, we, we always... We always were family. You know what I'm saying? We always had a family oriented cast. Mm. And um I could tell. Yeah, and, and with that, it it was just always love. It's still love, man. Like we still, I mean, we, we still um, you know, it, it it it's been some very tough, tough, you know, obstacles within our wire cast. You know, rest in peace to um Lance Reddy. Um, you know, uh, rest in peace to Michael K. Williams, Prop Joe. I mean, it's it's a couple of couple of the cast right. members or, or the you know the influences that was a part of the Y that, that that are no longer here in the physical form. Right. But their energy is still here. Energy never dies. No. But um, yeah, man. You know, those were some of the stories, man. I I know uh my man Larry Gilliard, Lawrence Gilliard Jr., who played D'Angelo. He'd tell you right now, everything from asking him, what it, where's my trailer, hair and makeup, what is this? I asked him questions every single day. <laughs> like I And I felt like I was bugging him, but he always used to be like, nah, you ain't bugging me, bro. You just, you knew this your first right, joint. You right. just don't know. But every time I would ask Larry a question, he always answered it. Wood Harris, same way. Wendell Pierce. I mean, all of the actors and actresses on the, on the Wire – would just, you know, we, we were all tight and to reconnect with them on We Own the City. Mm. Us playing cops, Jamie Hector. You know what I'm saying? Delaney Williams and uh, Dominique Lombardozzi. I mean, just just to reconnect with all of those brothers. And Juan Big G Glover. You know, that's my brother from DC. That's okay. that's 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 family for life. Um, but to connect with all of them on We Own the City, we come back 20 years later as cops, it's just like Full circle moment for me. Right, man. right. A lot of a lot of great highlights and great experiences in my career. Mm. Um, tell me this, bro. The check runners. Check runners so, all day. So be all the way real. And then this your be this your boy now. This ain't one of these little industry cats now. Yeah. This your this your people now. Facts. As a 20-year-old Trey Cheney. Yeah. What was the biggest check you got from the wire? And what was you spending your money on at the time? Cause you know, as 20 year olds, we getting a bag early. Yeah. We not really necessarily spending it on the things we need to spend. We're not making proper investments. We blunt running through it. Yeah. So you tell know what? me that. <laughs> the biggest, um, I I'ma say collectively, it it was close to it was close to six figures but it wasn't it wasn't six figures right but at the but i mean when you talking around that range close to 
I'm gonna be honest with you. At 20, I I blew that money. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I, I just was blowing it on anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was still living with my mother and father. <laughs> like, you know, I, while you were shooting the wire? While I was shooting the wire. Hey, it's your favorite cousin at the cookout, Rico Ramil. Check out my brand new book, Get Rich and Praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Everything you need to learn how to secure that bag like a boss is right here in this book, man. I went from sleeping in the 1984 Buick Sable to living full time off the gifts I was born with. And I wanna show you how to do the same thing, man. Get rich and praise God, man, on Amazon.com right now. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check